Good evening, Edwin. How are you? Good evening, teacher. All good. Great, great, great. Good Excellent. Evening. How was your day? Very tired. Very tired. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, and when is your day off? Uh, <clears throat> on weekend, no, not day off. No day off? Yes. Ah, okay. So Sunday, um, Saturday and Sunday? For, uh, as, yes, a worker. Mm, okay, very good. <laughs> so appreciate it and thank uh, you very much. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, comment that I left myself at work. <laughs> mm, okay. So you don't have access to your profile? That's what you mean? Yes, it's my type table. Okay. De la tablet, estoy conectado. La tablet, okay, perfect. So no worries. It's basically the same, right? All right. We are just going to wait for a couple of minutes for everybody else to join the class, okay? Okay, I can see more people now joining the class. So I have Nuria, good evening. So she's a listener. I have also Reina as a listener, good evening. And I can see also Ursula joining the class. Good evening, Ursula. Good evening, teacher. How was your day, my friend? It was okay, thank you. Okay, great. So let's see. Ready to participate in all the activities tonight? Yes, of course. Excellent. That's the attitude. Okay, well, let's see. Right, right. Mr. Pardo, I can see you. You are at home. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm good. What about you? Fine, teacher. Great, great, great. Excellent. Thank you. Are you going to be able to participate in the activities tonight? Teacher, I'm going to my home. Uh -huh. When I arrive, I participate. Okay. Approximately 8. 8.30. Yes. Okay, perfect. No problem. And thank you. Okay. okay, so I can see also Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right. So we are going to start now sharing the screen. So you can actually start checking this one. So, okay. 
everybody welcome officially to the class i hope you have had a nice uh, day right and now we are going to start practicing this every single night with a tongue twister because they are important here all right so before we go with the pronunciation all right i need you to take a look to the tongue twister and tell me if there is a word that you don't know and what is it okay. Tell me if there is a word that you don't recognize. What will be that word? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. What is it? Oh, okay. Thank you. Stalin. One. What is this one? Oh, excuse me. Solemn, all right. So, what is it? Uh -huh. Do you know it? Yeah, that's the meaning. Very good. All right. What is dual? Dual, 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 dual. What is it? Uh -huh. Yep. What is it, my friends? Dull. What is it? What is it? Dull. There you go. Excellent. Okay, very good. So we have recognized those two words right now here, which are new words. All right. So, uh huh. What is going to be this one right here? We're checking vocabulary right now, my friend. So what is it? What is that? Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. What is it? Uh -huh. Yay, that's correct. How do you pronounce it? Correct, dog. All right, so that's correct. That's correct. And then we have this one right here. What's the word? How do you pronounce it? Like this one. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I am alone again. So, hello, hello, everybody. Are you there? Okay, okay, so what is yes, pestilential, which is just like pestilente or like that one, all right? Uh, all right, so let's just continue here. This one, all right, to sit in a solemn silence in a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong luck awaiting to this I'm sorry awaiting the sensation of a short sharp shock from a chip and a chippy chopper with a big black block all right that's going to be the tongue twister for tonight so we are going to participate by pronouncing them so right now I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to practice it and then you guys are going to be um participating pronouncing this one so let me see according to what I can see here people who can participate will be Daniel Edwin, Evelyn, and uh, Ursula. So you guys are going to be volunteers, all right? So practice, 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 practice. Please, 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 please. So you have two minutes from now, all right? Remember, one more time, it's going to be to sit in a solemn silence in a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and cheapy chopper with a big black block. Right, easy, easy, easy. If you have questions, let me know. Two minutes starting now. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Let me know if you have questions. Teacher, ¿cómo pronuncia pestilen, pestilen, pestilential? Pestilential. Pestilential. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anything else? Anything else? One more minute, one more minute, and then I will start checking the volunteers. One more minute, let's see, let's see, who is it, who is it? Questions, questions about how to pronounce it? Okay, time's up. Now it's time for me to choose some volunteers. Well, let me ask you first of all, so you voluntarily can participate. Who is my first volunteer? Yeah? Me, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Ursula, you'll be number two. Okay? Okay. Go ahead, my friend. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dog. In a pestilation prison with a light, love, long lock, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a ship and shippy shopper with a big black block. Hey, Daniel, congratulations. That was actually a very good job, right? So it, I guess this tongue twister was easier than other ones, right? So, okay, thank you. You did it good. Thank you very much. Good job. Now, Ursula, we want to hear you. Okay. To sit in a solemn silence in a dull, dark dog okay. in a pestilential prison with a long, with a lifelong look, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and cheapy chopper with a big black lock. There you go. Excellent as well for you. Oh my God. So, guys, this was easy. Voy a buscar más difícil ahora. All right. So, because that was easy for you. <laughs> Good job, good job. Thank you. Who's my next volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. That's the attitude. Go ahead, please. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dog in a presential prison with a life log, log awaiting the sensation of a sharp, sharp shock from a ship and shippy shopper with a big black block. Good job. Thank you very much as well for you, right? So yeah, definitely. I'm looking for more difficult tongue twisters because this is easy for you. Okay, what about the rest? Hmm? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Please continue. To sit it solemn, silent in adult dark dog in a pestilation prison with a lifelong lock. Awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a ship in a ship shopper with a big black block. Thank you very much, my friend. That was actually a good job. Just remember that we're here, it's going to be cheapy. All right. So, like that. Thank you. There you go. A anybody else? Yes, yes, yes. Any other volunteer? No more volunteers. 
Come on, just one more, the last one. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Me, teacher. Thank you. That was, let me see here, Jill. Welcome, Jill. Yes, thanks. Uh, to sit in solemn silence in a duel. Dar duke in a pestilential prison with a lifelong look, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a ship and shippy shopper with a big black block. Thank you very much. You did it wonderfully as well. Thank you guys. Thank you for participating on the activity, right? So it, it really makes me feel happy when I listen to you pronouncing Tom Sisters in, in a correct way, right? So congratulations to everybody who participating in the activity. And I motivate the other ones who participate also pronouncing, I mean, pronouncing them, all right? So, well, let's continue with the next one right here. All right, so then we have a review right here, all right? So this one, my friends, it's related to the vocabulary that we were actually studying uh, last night, right, in the previous class. So we are going to be working on this one here. Let's do it together, all right, if you don't mind. So let's see here. Uh, and for this, I'm going to need some volunteers. So we have the first one right here, which is goal. So what is the definition of goal? A, B, C, D, or sorry, E or F? What is it? Leader E. Leader E, can you please read it? A desired result or possible outcome. Or possible outcome. Repeat it. Or possible outcome. Thank you very much. All right. So we are going to draw a line here. Excellent. Thank you. Can you tell me what's the definition of number two, which is feedback? Uh huh. What is it? Any other volunteer? Feedback is helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Letter C. Letter C. Thank you very much. That is actually correct. Thank you. All right. Can someone tell me what is the definition for budget? Letter B. Can you read it? An estimation <laughs> of income and expenses. And expenses. Exactly. Right. Hey, I have a question here. What's the meaning of income? And what's the meaning of expenses? Do you know it? Ingresos y gastos. Ingresos y gastos. Thank you very much. Super nice job. Okay. So let's go with the last one. I mean, the next one right here. Knowledge gap. What is it? Any volunteer for number four? Knowledge gap. What is it? Yep, yep, yep. Letter F. Letter F. Can you please read it? An irregular balance of what a person should know. Okay, very good. Excellent. So, an irregular balance of what a person should know. Oops. Okay. There you go. Thank you. And then we go on the next one, number five, a coaching. What is it? Letter D. Letter D, can you please read it? The process of improving the performance of an employee. All right. The process of, uh -huh. let's see, it's letter D, yes. Thank you. And what about the last one, qualifications? Can, who can read it? Just for reading it. Uh-huh. Volunteer for reading? Hello. Thank you, Jill. A quality that makes someone sweet, sweet ball. Sweetable. Sweetable for a particular job. Oh my God, we have a bilingual person in the room too. Excellent. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh, that's actually the correct definition here of every um, I mean, yeah, of every word that we have right here. Yes, correct. Thank you very much. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, 
Uh, do you have more questions here regarding the vocabulary or the pronunciation of any word that you can see here? No? Okay, cool, excellent. So let's see this one right here. And now let me clean the screen and let's just start with this. Okay, guys, here we have an activity. It's going to be actually something that it's kind of hard to do because it's going to be, it's going to take a long time. All right. So, but let me explain to you what is this about. Okay. So now let's see. Uh, I need a volunteer who can help me to read the instruction here where you can see number seven at the top. Who can help me with the instruction, my friends? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. All right, thank you. Please go ahead. Use the process in the previous page to determine your skills in college at work. Decide if you need to go to training and what training solutions would you prefer. All right, excellent. Uh, that's actually correct. It says here, use the process in the previous page, which it means it's just like what we were talking about yesterday, all right? Um, to determine your skills and knowledge at work, decide if you need to go to training and what training solutions would you prefer, all right? So let's see here, just for you to uh, understand this a little bit better, the process that this activity is talking about here, it's this one. Do you remember this one from yesterday? Yes, that's yesterday's class, okay? So this is the process yes. That, yes. that we are talking about in the next activity. So now, based on this process, you are going to prepare something personal here, which is like, um, you know, just an aquí definidas in order to right? Analyze the job, identify the current skill knowledge, decide um, skills and knowledge gaps, identify the training solutions, right? Uh, in this one, you are going to be talking about the activities you perform in your job, right? So, for example, let me see here. Um, Jill, you were reading before, right? So, Jill, what are the activities that you normally do in your job? What you have to do? Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh, Jill's not here? Okay, fine. Uh, anybody else? Let's see, Ursula. Okay, tell me, what is what you normally do in your job? Um, normally, um, I uh, review the email, answer the email for the customer, uh, make some reports for my boss, and attend meetings, and sometimes mm -hmm. this is customer. Okay, very good. So those are responsibilities. That is exactly what you're going to do right here. So what are all those activities that you just mentioned? Okay, that's what you're going to do here. Then in number two, it says, identify my current skills and knowledge. That's actually what you're going to add here. But what is exactly that? It says, a, what specific skills do I need to perform uh, my job? Am I skilled to perform my job? Uh, Ursula, we are going to continue with your examples, okay? So you said that you attend the meetings, that you can talk okay. to customers, et cetera, et cetera, right? So okay, okay. Skills, what skills do you think you, Ursula, need to do your job? Um, I need a... Uh, Customer service. Customer service, okay. What else? Um, um, worship. Mm -hmm. um, um, knowledge about the um, use of the programs in the computer. Okay, yeah, like computer skills, of course, right? Computer skills. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So all those things are the ones uh, you need to add right here. So those like the things you need 
to prepare in your job, right? Then we go with this one. Number three says, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Remember Ursula here? Like, you know, we're talking about Ursula because she's the one participating right now, right? But this was individual. Of course, this is going to be individual. It says, are there any skills I lack and that could help me do in my job better? So for example, you, Ursula, what is something that perhaps you need to have and you are not that good at it at the moment? Mm, I need um, uh, improve my knowledge about Excel, for example. About what? Excuse um, me? Excel. Oh, Excel. Worship. Yeah. Or, yeah. or Power BI, for example. For example, right, to prepare like reports in a better way, of course, right? Yes. Okay, so yes. you can actually, let's say, add those areas of opportunity in this section. And then let's go with the last one, which is identify the training solutions. For that one, we have this one right here. What type of training program will be helpful to develop the skill I lack? All right, so for example, right now, Ursula told us that she wants to improve her skills about Excel. Right, so maybe she needs to have a training about Excel to watch some tutorials to go to uh, it could be why not right? So you can take a course at Insta Four about Excel, also right. Um, and then what are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work schedule in personal life? That's important. Pay attention to this one. So for example, if we say that you need to take a course, when are you going to take it? Can that be online? Does it have to be in a specific time like this class? Or it can be like, you know, at any time you can, for example. All right. So online programs, on the job training, mentoring, you know. ¿Cómo se va a llevar a cabo ese training que propongo yo basado en lo que tengo que modificar? I mean, mejorar. All right. So it's a clear people. Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Very good. So remember that, uh, I mean, you're going to go to the breakout rooms right now and you're going to uh, work on this, all right? So you can help each other, but it has to be individual, of course, because cada quien, like each of you has a different, um, you know, different area of opportunity, different uh, job and different skills you need to have according to your job, all right? So let's just continue with this one right here, all right? Let me just double check who is actually going to be able to. Well, I'm going to stop the share. I can see the screenshot has been sent to the group. And now let me work on the breakout rooms here. Let's see here. Let's see. Good evening, Eduardo Flores. Are you ready to participate? Yes, Mr. Thank you. Eh, Guillermo Abrego, hello, my friend. Hello, hello, hello. Guillermo, Guillermo. Oh, my God, Guillermo. Mm -hmm. Listener, okay. Rain Elizabeth, listener, all right. Jill, ready to participate, right? Ready. Thank you. So let's hit this one. One more one. Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Okay. Let's see here. And Daniel is here, or maybe he's having dinner right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Open number three. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Um, six. Oh, he came back. Welcome back. Okay, so let's see. Open number three. Okay, excellent. So I have organized the rooms in a way that 
at least two people can talk and then the other ones can join the conversation as listeners, right? So thank you very much, guys. Please now access to the breakout rooms. Mr. Carlos Rivas, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Are you going to be able to participate? We're working on an activity in the breakout rooms. Okay, teacher. All right, excellent. So let me send you to um, the breakout room right now. Very good. Hello, hello. Hello, Noe. I'm sorry. I didn't see that you were like, um, with or someone who is just listening. I'm going to move you to a different room. Also you, uh, David, so you can participate, okay? Okay, teacher. I'm doing that right now, don't worry. Okay. No worries, let's see. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello. Do you have questions? Can I help you with anything here? No question, teacher. No questions. Okay, no problem. I'm going to stay here in the room. In case you need um, help, just let me know, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Edwin. Mande. Ya ten, eh, Edwin, yes. You finish. <laughs> you finish. Number no. one. Es, number one is identify my career skill and knowledge. Eh, finish, you. You finish. No. Okay. Teacher, tell me. Eh, puede compartir el screenshot. Eh, aquí, pero aquí en donde está ahorita conectado usted. Sure. Para tomar Ay, yo, lo, yo lo mandé al grupo. Yes, it's in the group, pero no, no es que no tengo, no, no tengo mi teléfono. Ay, oh, perdón, Erwin, yo remember. no te entendí. <laughs> Sorry. <Okay. laughs> no problem. <laughs> She didn't understand you because you were speaking Spanish. De la 1 a la 4, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah, all of them, right? So, todo tiene ahí su, um, like, connection, right? So, primero describes que te haces tu trabajo, cuáles son los, los um, conocimientos necesarios para llevar a cabo tu trabajo, like, the, the skills you need to perform your job, luego, qué hace falta de lo que tú conoces ahorita, y cuál training estarías dispuesto a tomar para poder, um, you know, cumplir con eso que hace falta. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Entonces es las actividades que ya realizamos en nuestro trabajo. No es como las actividades que necesitamos como mejorar. No, yes. It's related. For example, number one, in your case, Sonia, what do you do in your job? Uh, customer service. Uh -huh. Um... Uh, send the documents to uh, the clients. To the clients. <coughs> to the... <laughs> to the clients. Um, check the email. Um, respond the... Uh, send the email también, no sé. Okay, send a reply to the emails. All right. Okay. Excel, right? So all those type of things. Yes. All right. Okay. Right. Entonces, esas cosas son las que usted hace. En el número dos, I'm asking you, what is, um, ¿qué, qué, qué, qué conocimientos, what skills necesita usted para el trabajo que usted hace ahorita? What for the job you currently have? Um, ¿Cómo se dice conocer? To know? Uh, to know the product uh -huh. or, or the service. Uh -huh. Conocer el servicio. To know the service. Um, uh, eh, manejar todo el equipo de oficina. To, to know how to use the equipment. Um, Um, uh -huh. de, de, ¿Cómo se dice buena presentación? Um, well, personal appearance. I mean, good personal appearance. What else? What else? Um, For example, eso es lo que usted necesita tener. Uh -huh. Now, in number three, uh, like, is asking you, what do you need to improve? ¿Qué le hace falta para el trabajo que ya tiene? Of course, right? 
Ok. Entonces yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, ah, necesito un, eh, un curso Yo de necesito... esto, un curso de aquí, un training acerca de esto, o el sistema está nuevo, whatever, right? Ok. And the training in the Excel? Ok, por ejemplo, that could be one. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo me dijo buena presentación, teacher? Um, a personal appearance. Personal appearance. Mm -hmm. Good personal appearance. Okay. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Like right, this one. Hey, Catherine. Good evening. How are you? Okay. Edwin, do you need help with anything else? Um, ahorita voy en la dos. Okay, no problem. You have the screenshot, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. More questions? No questions? Not too sure. Okay, so in that case, I am going to visit another breakup room. If you have questions, just call me so I can come immediately, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank Thank you. you. Hello, hello. How are you doing with the activity? Mm -hmm. For me, in number three. Number three, you are in number three. Do you have questions? So do you need help? Mm -hmm. No questions? I understand a little the question that. The number three? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Let me help you with that right now. So, well, eh, the whole situation here, it's about eh, your job in ECI and training that you need to actually um, take, you know, in your job. So, number one is clear for you? Number one? Yeah. Okay, number two, it says identify your current skills. So, the things that you uh, need to do your job, right? To have good customer service, to have computer skills, piping skills, eh, or to know English, for example. Our number three, it's about the things that could help you to do your job better. So, de lo que tú ya sabes, que hace falta? What do you need to improve? Right? So, for example, in your specific case, en el color tu trabajo, que es algo que, que te hace... Y falta aprender para hacer tu trabajo de una mejor manera. Just to say something like that. Ok. Thank you. Ok. You remember that could be an, um, an English course or an Excel course or a computer skill course, etc.
Anybody else? A different question? No more questions. Okay. I am going to go to a different room. If you have questions, just let me know. Hello, Evelyn, Maritza, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Are you finished? Uh, almost, teacher. Okay, uh, do you have questions about the questions? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, no problem. So I am going to stay here in this room for a couple of minutes. If you need my help or if you have questions, just let me know, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Finished. Okay, excellent. All right. So we are going to uh, join the room, the, the main session in a moment to verify all the um, the answers that you have prepared. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. I'm just gonna visit one more room. One second. Okay. Hello, hello, guys. How are you? Hi, teacher. Did you finish? Almost. Okay, no problem, no problem. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am going to stay here in this uh, room. If you have questions or you need my help, let me know. Okay, teacher. Thank you.
Ready, Ursula. Great. You finish. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. The number, the number one for the client is a reaction of the tanker pumps. It's an action of air con conditioner. Fill our report of work done. Done. Uh, the number two. Mm -hmm. I have knowledge of ele electricity. Electricity. Have knowledge of customer service. Provide mm -hmm. a solution to e equipment problems. Uh, Yes, I am training in customer service. I am tra training in electricity, electric, electricity. Electricity, yes. Uh, 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 number three, the improvements that can be made are prepared knowledge since, since the things brings new technology to improve customer service. Uh, the number four, Sharma training the world help me in provide world would be you, you that, you that uh, the Sorry. Training. Just remember, I guess you were saying improve, right? Para mejorar. Mm, improve. Yes. Improve. Mm -hmm. uh, training uh, online training tutorial. Finish. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. actually very interesting. So you understood it correctly. Right, boy. Right. Volunteer, he said. Thank you. <laughs> the first volunteer. <laughs> and then Ursula, the second one. Yo, um, yo ya estuve en, en, el, en el class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what, I was the example teacher. Yeah, but you know, you had, you had to say it. <laughs> okay, well. I'm going to close all the rooms right now. Please make sure that you join the main class, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome back. Great, excellent. So everybody is back here. So welcome back to the main class right here. Now we are going to continue um, you know, listening to your answers, right? So we are going to have many volunteers because I can see a lot of people connected tonight here, right? So let's see here. Who's going to be the first volunteer? I would like to hear someone who voluntarily wants to share um, their answers. Uh-huh. Who's going to be the first one? Hello. Manager. That's going to be Noe. All right, Noe, thank you very much. Please tell me. Okay, the, the number one. Mm -hmm. 
Call the, the uh, Leo la pregunta. That's, okay, it's, but it's not, it's not necessary. Don't worry. What activities do you do you need to do to perform your job? Okay, call the client. Is installation of of tanker pumps. Mm -hmm. Installation of air condi conditioner. Fill or report of work done. Okay. Number two now, what specific skills do you need to perform your job? Okay. Uh, I have no knowledge of electricity. Electricity. Mm -hmm. I have knowledge of customer service. Provide solution to equipment problems. Okay. Very good. Excellent. And then, uh, are there many? I'm uh, sorry. Are there any skills you lack and that could help you to do your job better? Uh, the improved improvement that can can be ma made it are uh, to you you united knowledge since since the the things brings new technology to improve improve customer service. Okay, very good. And what type of training program will help you to develop the skills you lack? Uh, some training that will help me improve, improve will be you, you that, you that training, uh, online training tutorial. Okay, great, excellent. Please, let's give an applause to this guy right here because he was actually super good. All right, so and he answered the questions the way it was supposed to be uh, doing, done, sorry. All right, so thank you, my friend. You did wonderfully. I congratulate you. So you organized all the ideas in a proper way. You know, I like it. So super, super nice. Thank you. All right, do I have any other volunteer? If not, oh, Eduardo. I, I try to teacher. Okay, let me uh, ask you the questions. So what activities do you need to perform your job? I think it up develop developing some course for knowledge and all products have the company with process of training of plural for because many many partners we we know some knowledge knowledge for, for the for the products in my company and then number two we say need more time for practice this year and training of program worship and I skill for attend a customer service but I need a skill I need the skills works in group or teams is a very difficult works with my partners and number three okay. uh, I need improve develop skills in the roller machines for sheet and product what happened the products of for linear and i need to improve speaking english because uh, we reside many people or see many people so many clients that only speak in english for okay. example chinese and and thailand uh, Thai. because Thai because the uh, work or because the company is near to airport mm -hmm. and como dije era muchos comerciantes muchos que excuse porque, me comerciantes porque con esto de que ha mejorado la seguridad todo mm -hmm. todo lo que se ve que viene se detiene en empresa buscando Logicamente, the materials para, para levantar the press. Could be that one, right? That you can see there. And the uh, number four? Many merchants. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Uh, many merchants. Uh -huh. And number and four, number what four, are... uh, uh -huh. I think it's that the company could be developing training individual from, from a central customer service and install 
and a program online for English for all for all collaborators or, or employees. For, or you can say employees. employees. Mm -hmm. Only that. Great, thank you, Eduardo. That was actually good. Just remember the pronunciation of the word recibir in English is receive. Repeat it. Receive. Exactly. So that was the only observation about pronunciation. Then everything else was actually a super good job. Congratulations, Eduardo. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's see. Uh, anybody else? Another volunteer? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, let me start by asking you the question number one. So tell me, what activities do you need to perform in your job? The activities I do in my work are checking the fabric of the garments, mm -hmm. measure the cup parts of fabric, mm -hmm. make garment samples for the client or customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what specific skills do you need to perform in your job? Okay, know how to use the wing machines. Now, how to use the tape measure. Okay, and are there any skills you lack and that could help you to do your job better? And knowing more about the English language mm -hmm. is a skill you need to do my job better okay very good and what type of training program will be helpful to develop uh, the skills you lack online online english course in my free time are the best solution to improve my skills at work and have a better job performance okay very good excellent thank you i appreciate it right so you also were doing a great job with this activity congratulations all right so let's see uh, what about someone else one more please mm -hmm. who else all right come on people be volunteers me teacher Thank you, Sonia. Go ahead, my friend. Okay. Um, number one. Mm -hmm. uh, what activities do I need to the perform in my job? Uh, customer support. Send a uh, receive document. Check mm -hmm. your email. Uh -huh. Answer all emails. Mm -hmm. Upload documents the to the system mm -hmm. system uh, number good. system number two uh, what a specific skill to do I need to perform my job I'm a skill to the perform my job uh, management management of uh, official equipment excellent customer service good personal appearance uh, knowledge knowledge of service uh, i number three are there any skill i lack and that could help me do my job better the skill i need to improve are my uh, not kind of lazy can esta palabra siempre me cuesta, Tisha. Eh, of it? Excel. Can, can knowledge. Can... Oh, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. <laughs> okay, knowledge. Mm -hmm. Knowledge of Excel and my English. Mm -hmm. And number four, um, identify training solution. Uh, first, I need an Excel course. Uh, they improve my English mm -hmm. uh, by taking online um, courses, courses 
Courses. Courses. Mm -hmm. um, should that uh, does not inter in interfere in the in interfere interfere interfere, interfere yes. why my work and personal life personal life okay excellent thank you very much all right so that was actually good we need to work in the pronunciation all right of this thing here uh so let's see this one but anything else was actually good how do you say conocimiento my friend Perdón. How do you say conocimiento? Eh... La palabra que le cuesta. Ah, conocimiento, sí. Uh -huh. Knowledge. No. Knowledge. knowledge. Haga de este caso que la K doesn't exist, all right? So it's okay. just knowledge. Knowledge. Correct. Knowledge. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, everybody, we are going to stop right here with this activity so we can continue with the next one. Thank you to everybody who participated and then um, was able to share their answers with the whole class here. Now, let's see. Let's take a look at this one in the training time now. So we're going to be actually um, learning a little bit more about what is a training here. Okay. So it says right here, um, or like the process, basically the process to develop a training here. All right, so first of all, we need to identify here what's the new skill or the new knowledge that I want my employees to get, all right? So new technology could be one of them, new procedures, all right, or trainings for new employees, all right? With new technology, basically it's because we have new equipment, new tools, or you know whatever technological device that we have and we need to learn how to use it, right? Then about procedures, perhaps ya tenemos algo establecido, but there is an update so that we need to get uh, a training to see how is it going to be in the new process, right? And of course, for the new employees, it will be necessary to have a training because they don't know anything about the company. So that's why you need a training. Then um, you need to also evaluate that, like the, th the lack of um, knowledge that you might have there, right? So where, where uh, when there is a lack of uh, basic skills, all right, or when there is a lack of application, right? So cuando vamos a evaluar esas deficiencias, right? Cuando hay falta de conocimiento, all right? O cuando hay una falta de aplicación de lo que se debe hacer. For example, imagine that I already evaluate, I already gave you the training, but you continue making the same mistakes. So I need to evaluate qué es lo que hace falta o por qué no se está llevando a, a cabo, right? Then we need to address. Let's see. Do you remember what is actually the word address in this context? What's the word address? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. What's the word address? Mm -hmm. All right. Hello. Yes. Address. Just the word address, it will be like direction, yes. right? Direction. But, uh -huh. but in this context, it means abordar. All right. No like abordar un bus or anything like that. So can like how to handle a situation. Understand? And uh, you go on this one here and said, like, for example, it is not rare to have within your organization talented employees who can be trained to take on additional responsibilities or learn the ropes of a higher position. This is super important right here, all right? So it, because it says address skills gaps uh, within the existing workforce. ¿Qué es la workforce, my friend? Do you remember that? What is workforce? Mm -hmm. Like teamwork? Um, no, not really. Workforce is something different. Mm -hmm. Yep. Any idea? The workforce, it's the same as. In, de mm, sounds like that one, but it's basically the staff, the personnel, you know? Like that. 
That's actually what it means, el personal, all right? And this is with this one, it's telling you that you can, for example, eh, imagine that you are the boss and you need to, you, you can be on top of everybody there, but you can also train eh, employees who have good skills para que estos employees le den el training to other employees, all right? So, and then in that way, so you can assign those activities, eh, you know, within uh, the existing workforce, of course, right? Es decir, basically, eh, aquí el jefe identifica like the, the person with the good skills para poder dar un training especial y que esa persona se quede encargada. That person is going to be in charge of giving the training to other people. So that's about that one. Let's just go on this one right here, which is provide specialized customer support. That's it, this one. You will want to, you will want your customers facing executives or sales personnel to learn the skills or stock up on the knowledge to serve customers better. Piense que this is actually super important, right? To have customer support. Y hay algo más que, let's see if you know what is this one. Guys, have you ever seen this expression? What is people skills? You know what is it? Yes or no? People skills. Mm -hmm. What are people skills? Habilidades interpersonales. Habilidades interpersonales, exactly, right? So basically it's just to, um, exactly, people skills, las habilidades interpersonales. So, uh, and that means basically that you need to know how to handle um, with people, right? Which is important. You know, simple instructions, simple, like the way you say hello, the way you uh, ask for help, all right? Um, you know, I guess that, that, that's a different thing here, right? Remember, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Because like, for example, imagine, all right? Um, well, imagine that me as your teacher wants to give you um, an announcement, right? So, for example, vamos a aprovechar el ejemplo y hacer el comercial, all right? Y le quiero decir yo, for example, um, uh, a Edwin, all right? Que tiene que revisar sus tareas y su um, examen en su trabajo en la plataforma, right? So, it will not be the same if I just tell Edwin, Vaya, Edwin, le pido por favor que revise su eh, plataforma y que termine con todo lo que tiene que hacer. All right, so that doesn't sound like, like polite. And it would be different if I said, eh, hola Edwin, ¿cómo estás? Quería comentarte que eh, estaba revisando la plataforma y veo que te hace falta algunas cosas. Entonces quería pedirte por favor que te pusieras el día con él para poder estar al pendiente con las eh, notas. Just to give an example in Spanish, of course, right? Entonces that's actually why um, people's skills are important because as I said before, it's not what you said, it's how you say it, all right? And like to have the like the skills to talk to people, right? And uh, let's see this one, what's next? The next one right here is raise the bar on performance. Uh, this is just like an expression that we use uh, this in Spanish, raise the bar. What is raise the bar, my friend? Uh -huh. What is raise the bar? What is it? Elevar. Raise is elevar, okay. Is it raise or rise? Elevar. Yes, raise, exactly. Raise the, the bar. And what is bar? Ooh, so what about bar? No. Uh -huh. Elevar el rendimiento. Mm -hmm. If you go like this one, this tone, no, it's not like, like Google by the seat, right? So, in, also, in, in El Salvadorian, in Spanish, is right, subir la vara. You know, you know, the, have you ever heard the expression in Spanish? In Spanish, of course. Have you ever heard the expression subir la vara? Yes or no? No, teacher. No? no. Or like, for example, the expression que la vara está muy alta? O que va a dejar la vara alta? Anything like that? No. No? Okay, no problem. So, uh, the, raise the bar, which means right here, it's just like, uh, for example, like, um, 
to have higher expectations of something, like the highest expectations. Nada de algo a media, sino que like siempre esperando the best, all right? That's what it says right there. You have to provide training to your employees to bring, sort of bridge the skill and or knowledge gap. So, which it means just like siempre elevar los estándares. Lo podemos entender como de esa manera, all right? Elevar los estándares del rendimiento. All right, so good. Then you go with the next one right here. Meet new compliance and regulations. What is new compliance? Mm -hmm. What is new compliance? Cumplir nuevas normativas. Mm -hmm. Yes, cumplir las nuevas normativas. That is correct, that right? Y las regulaciones. So like new legislations or policies and, and improve safety guidelines that have been put into place a necessity training your employees, all right? So like, so I have one cambio, so we need to let the employees know about that change. Hey, I have a question for you. Do you have questions about the information I just explained? Mm -hmm. No questions. Hello? Hello? Yes or no? Hello? No, teacher. No questions. Good. No questions. You don't have questions for me. I have questions for you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, take a look at this one. So that's what we're going to be working on right now. So it's going to be like two questions that you need to answer. Is it only new employees who need training? Yes or no? All right, and what do you do if you are a manager and, and an employee comes to you asking for training, All right? We have two questions right here. So question number one, which is this one, and question number two, which is also this one right here, All right? La primera, let's see. Um, Daniel Membreño, are you there? Yes, I'm there. I'm here, you have to say. All right, so <laughs> thank you. Help me with the question number one, my friend. Is it only new employees who need training? Okay, thank you. All right, so si solo nuevo necesitan training, yes or no. And let's see, Guillermo Abrego, are you there? Yes, it's sure. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Can you help me with the number two? Okay. Let me see. Mm, the number two. What do you do if you are a man? Thank you. What do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? And how would you translate that into Spanish? Or how do you understand that question? Um, ¿qué, ¿Qué haría yo si yo fuera un supervisor? Mm -hmm. y un empleado o un asesor, lo que sea se acerca a mí y me solicita eh, una capacitación uh -huh. porque no entiende algún proceso ¿verdad? perhaps like that one so it would be like that so yeah, that's basically like the whole thing there alright, so you guys are going to be working in the breakout rooms again vamos a reorganizar because oh, did you take the screenshot for the questions by the way or not yet Hello, hello? Yes, sure. Okay, thank you then. All right. And let's see this one. En lo que organizo los breakup rooms right here. In, in the meantime, I'm going to check this. One second. Aiden here, the rooms. Daniel Membreon and Ursula Esteli. Can you work together? Yes, active, both okay. of you. Yes. Excellent. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Evelyn Jamilet, Karen Beatriz. Hello, girls. Evelyn, Catherine. Guillermo and Henry. Oh, hi, Henry, by the way.
Oh my goodness. Yes, teacher. Yeah, the no demo way. is active, no problem. Eduardo, are you still active? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Mr. Pardo, you said that you were going to be active at 8.30 and it's almost 9.30. Are you active now? Mr. Pardo. Yes. yes. All right. Carlos Rivas y Noé. Yes, teacher. No, yes. Vaya, vamos entonces aquí, my friend. Vaya, bien, Úrsula, Edwin, en Noé. Vamos a ver Guillermo. And Gio. Gio, so active, right? Yes, teacher. Maritza and Sonia? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So we will move this one here. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so I have rearranged the room. So please go ahead and join it so you can practice the two questions, okay? Send the question, please. Right now. So what happened, Gil? Do you have problems to join the room? Hello, Gil. <coughs> A 
All right, guys, how are you doing? You have the answers? You ready to discuss it? No, teacher. Yeah. Okay, so... Um... Yes or no? <laughs> I do. I have. Um, Is just answer the question that you send in correct. the WhatsApp group. Correct, correct. It is only new employees who need training. No, for me, everyone needs to to have a training. Why? Because you, if you, if all the personnel in a company, um, if they have access to good training, um, they will be more efficient, 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 know, efficient in their jobs. Okay, very good, excellent. And what about number two? Mm. The number two, what do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? Well, uh, I will ask to my superior if there is um, some training. I mean, new, new employees, maybe if, if he needs a, a training, an extra training. Mm -hmm. In a, a specific area, I can send him. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. All right. So, what about the rest? For example, Ursula, you say yes, so you can participate here. Yes. What about number? And uh, number one. number one. Um. Uh, I think. Uh, the answer is no because uh, um, I think everyone needs training in order to improve their skills and knowledge. And the number two, um, well, first of all, um, review the activities of the position with the employee. Then, uh, review the where the training is necessary mm -hmm. to increase the effectiveness to the employee and then um, find the best uh, training for the employee um, in order to not to to don't uh, uh, interfere. Interfere. With, interfere with with the schedule, mm -hmm. daily schedule, and um, finally um, uh, ask for uh, authorization about the training mm -hmm. to the uh, human resource. And finally, I inform the employee if their training are uh, authorized, 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 authorized. That's it. That's it. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. How do you say uh, interfere? And the Fear. <laughs> Interfere. Correct. Exactly. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Interfere. Yes. What about you, Daniel? I would like to hear you also. The only new, do only new employees need training? No, because all employees need help, whatever you, you need. Um, the other. What do you do if you are manager and an employee comes to you asking for training? Mm -hmm. yeah. Get to get get together staff to train. 
and provide them with help. I'm sorry, what was that one more time? Get together stuff to train and provide them with help. Oh, with help. All right. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you guys for participating. So we are going to go to the breakup, I mean, to the main class right now. So please make sure that you participate if nobody else does it. All right. Okay, so we are just waiting for everybody else to join the main class again. Yeah, there it comes. Okay, excellent. Everybody, welcome back uh, to the main session right here. And I would like to listen to some volunteers. The first volunteers for the first question right here, which is this one. This is question number two. But for the first one. Oh, okay, Sonia, tell me. Is it only new employees who need training? No. Mm -hmm. All the staff need training once or twice a year mm -hmm. to improve their knowledge and skill okay yeah that's actually a very good answer thank you very much uh, now that you're here sonia what about number two what do you do if you are a manager and an employee comes to you asking for training okay has what skill you need to improve and um, here a quality quality qualifies personal who can deliver the training to the uh, to the in, in chairs, a todo el personal, no sé cómo to se To the escribe. employees? To the employees. Okay. Very good, thank you. Thank you for your participation and for being the first volunteer, appreciate it. Yeah. All right, so thank you. Who's the next one? Next one, next one. Hello? Me teacher. Thank you, Noe. Go ahead. Uh, the number one. No. Yeah, number uh, one. Uh -huh, correct. Or, or staff needs a training since it is necessary to update the topic of interest, interest for better production. Production. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what about number two? Number two. As a manager, mm -hmm. I will ensure that all my staff is training to, to do their job and have good equipment and, and to I would have better production. Yeah, remember, that, that was a good answer, by the way. Remember, repeat with me, production. Production. There you go. So in that case, you're going to pronounce the U. As U, like in Produ, you're going to pronounce like production, like a O. Production. Yeah, that's production. correct. Excellent. So yeah. now let's just continue with one more volunteer, please. One volunteer more, and then we can finish with this activity. Who is going to be my volunteer? The last one. Yep. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you, Ursula. I appreciate it. Go okay. ahead. Okay. The first and uh, the answer is no. I think every one needs training in order to improve their skills and knowledge. And the second, first of all, review the activities of the position with employees, then identify which 
training are necessary to help him. After that, identify the best way to provide the training in order to not interfere in his schedule and decide the best option. And finally, ask for the authorization for the training and inform the employee if the training was approved. That's it. Very good, very good, very good. All right, so that was awesome, awesome, awesome. I like how you elaborate the answers in the structure that you give. So you're doing a very good job. Thank you, my friend. Okay, excellent. So now we are going to continue here with the next activity, which is uh, this conversation we have here, okay? So take a look at this one. So we're going to do it, but we're going to work here because it's gonna be easier for everybody, right? So, um, you know, we have to read and practice the conversation. I am going to do it for you first so you can pay attention to the pronunciation, the intonation, right? And then you guys are going to be working here. So, for example, number one, it says here, Diego, we will use this chart to analyze the training needs for our new servers. It says major task of the position. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know, right? Super, super, super easy, okay? So um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, all right? Everybody, I need to like practice with this uh, conversation. So who wants to be one of the first volunteers to try this conversation? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Thank you, Eduardo. I need another volunteer. Ursula. Okay. Thank you. All right. First, right now, Eduardo and Ursula. Eduardo, Diego, or Stacy, Ursula. Go ahead. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major task of the position. Uh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Oh. Don't forget, server have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Oh. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, guys, thank you very much. You were doing a very good job. Thank you also for being the volunteers. All right, good, good job. So I also could see before Gil. Gil wanted to participate. Is that right, Gil? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Jill. And I need another volunteer so they can, I mean, you can help Jill. Who's going to be my next volunteer? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Edwin. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Edwin, you go with Diego and Jill with Stacy. Go ahead. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says my task of the position. Our uh, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payment correctly. Do not forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Roaming and personal appearance, they look a bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to lead them now. All right, thank you very much, my friends. That was actually a good job, by the way. Uh, just be careful with the pronunciation of this word right here. Organize, okay? Organize. Organize. Thank you. And then we have this one right here, which is? let them let them repeat it let them thank you very much everything else was actually 
a super nice job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now everybody, let's just move here to the next activity that you have to work on. And it's going to be this one right here. All right, so, hey, who can help me to read the instruction, people? The instruction here, who can help me with that? Just reading the instruction. Uh huh. Hello? Complete the training. Uh huh. Complete the training need an analysis analysis. 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 Uh, T N E A. A. Uh, Share using the information. Uh, from the box, check your answer. What with or oh, white with, with, with. with classmate? Thank you very much. All right, so the TNA here is the training needs analysis. All analysis. right, so then basically what you're going to be doing is using this information that you have here and moving to one of those areas where you consider that it's going to be possible to write it all right so uh, and then you're going to be working on this one so for example it says right here number one handling credit cards is difficult for me este de here donde creen que iría en que sección de aquí do you think is going to be the correct one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the sections. Tenemos que poner esta section here en una de estas sections that I'm just mentioned. ¿A dónde iría? Hello? Hello? Give me Marcelo your name. Aha, uh -huh, but I'm talking about this one. Where do you think it will be like the best one for that one? I think I don't understand the sure. Okay, no problem. So let me just repeat it again. So it okay. says right here. Okay. Let me just like go for this one. Here it says, my friends, you need to complete the training needs analysis, right? The training needs analysis. It's the TNA. And the chart, it's this one. This is the chart, all this is the chart. Using the information from the box, so this information, all right? And that's what you're going to do. So you are going to use what information, it's the one we're missing. So we are missing this information. We need to complete this, 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 all right? And that's it. So it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are going to move this information from here and we're going to put it here. For example, if I believe it's there or I'm going to say that it's here. Understand? So complete this chart with the information that I have here. Understand? Okay, teacher. For uh, example, uh, Jimmy Marshall, employee name. Correct. So that's going to be here. So you have the first one. And then you continue with the rest. Understand? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. You are very welcome. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms again so you can actually continue working on this one. All right. Okay. The invitation has been sent and I'm going to send the screenshot in a moment. There you go.
Hello, hello. Questions, my friends? No questions? No. Okay. We start working on this one. Teacher, we only have to answer the the this chart. Sorry. Exactly. So remember that this is the chart, and this is the information that you're going to use to complete it. Okay, uh, for example, my name, Guillermo Abrego. In the, no, 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 no. Not with your personal information, with the information that we have here, this one. Okay, All right, uh, so, but if the chart needs a employee name, so you could can be, see. Uh -huh. Could be. Any, anyone, I mean, okay, sorry. Jimmy Marshall. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, date is September. Uh -huh. Well, Saturday. Those are the ones you're going to be using. This is one. Okay, two. Saturday. Mm, okay, let her see. Our team organizer is Kitchen Manager. Correct. This one, this one, this one, this one. September 10th. It's so a Saturday. Solution. Training solution. Practical training in restaurant during off hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah. What other what other areas would you like to improve? I think handling credit card because yeah, it's it difficult for me. Major task of the position, serve orders by picking up and delivering. Uh, how do you pronounce that, that word, teacher? Which one? Uh, patrons. Pat patrons. Patrons. Mm -hmm. Choices from bar and kitchen. Mm, training skills needed. Oh. I think no, because they give um extra training at the beginning. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's all. So those uh, are the, those are the ones you need to complete. So for example, let's see what's the employee name. I I think the in the last in the last part of the chart. Uh huh. The, we can put two options there. One is handling credit cards because it's difficult. And the other one is grooming and personal appearance. All right. You know what? This one, uh, I, it depends on you, right? So, uh, if it does, like, uh, sorry, this one, handling credit cards and this one, so no trainings, right? So, okay. but this one, for example, este CEO coincido contigo that they go here, right? Porque dice, okay. what other areas would you like to improve? Y aquí dice, it's difficult for me. En cambio, el training, para el que yo le he puesto que sí necesita training, sería this one. And what is the meaning of grooming? 
Grooming and personal appearance is grooming is el aseo y la apariencia personal. So, grooming es apariencia. No, aseo. 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 Oh, okay. Grooming es aseo. Aseo que incluye, like, you know, everything, right? What the word means. Taking Teacher, shower, but I, I was thinking about the handling credit cards because uh, I remember that around one month ago, mm -hmm. I went to, to Simang. Mm -hmm. And and I bought uh I bought uh, I bought a t shirt and some hoodies for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and when I was paying with my credit card um the cashier she was um really nervous because I, I think that she was on training. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. I mean, if she needs time to to make the the charge, the charges in my credit card, it's okay. There is no problem. Well, I think that this could be be there that option. All right, excellent. You know what? I understand your point, right? And the reason why you believe that the training should be supposed to be in this one. But I want you to understand something here. In the context that we have here in this exercise, okay? So let's say this one. Remember que toda esa information que está aquí, all this information, right? Okay. Se ha movido de aquí, the chart, all right? Entonces, si tú te pones a pensar, yeah, both trainings are important, of course, right? Okay. Eh, but... Si nos vamos a la previous slide donde estaba la conversation, de qué eran los training que iban a poner ahí. First. Uh -huh. Okay. En la previous state, slide, decía ahí. Um, I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance, they look it a bit messy. So el training que en la conversation se estaba proponiendo, it's just like, um, you know, to help them with that grooming and personal appearance because they look a little bit messy. Esa es la training que se proponía. Ahora, la respuesta, when it says there, when it says there, um, handling credit cards because it's difficult for me, esa queda aquí, all right, porque el training que le van a dar o que sea programado para Jimmy no es el de credit cards, sino que es el de grooming. Por eso es que dice acá que otras áreas te gustaría mejorar. Entonces, donde aquí dice okay. handling credit cards, porque es difícil para mí. All right? Entonces, eso okay. ya lo hace, right? So, pero le cuesta. Okay. Aunque el training programado sería el grooming and personal appearance. But yes, I, I got your point. No problem. Okay. All right. So, questions? No questions? No questions. Okay. It is clear. Okay, very good. Excellent. So, if that's the case, let's go back to the main session so we can you know, complete this exercise there. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay, so we are just waiting for everybody else to join the class. We will be actually here.
Okay, everybody here, welcome back to the class so we can continue with this part right now. So please help me to complete this one so before we go to rest, all right? So, okay, everybody, can you please tell me what is going to be here, the employee's name? Jimmy Marshall. Jimmy Marshall. Marshall, thank you so much, all right? Marshall, very good, excellent, all right? So. And what's the major task of the position? Server order by picnic. Server orders time. by picking up, picking up, and delivery. Delivery. Choice from bar and kitchen. Choice from bar. And kitchen. Kitchen. All right. Excellent. Uh, does he need training? Yes or no? Does he need the training? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. And what's the training he needs? What is the training? Grooming and personal appearance. Yes, grooming and personal appearance. Okay, excellent. So, grooming and personal appearance. Very good. When? What's the date? September. Saturday 10. September, Saturday 10. Excellent. Who's the organizer? Kitchen manager. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Kitchen manager. Very good. And what are the training solutions? Modeling credit card is difficult for me. Uh, uh, uh. What is the training solution? Practical training Practical. in restaurant during up hour. Uh -huh. Practical training in restaurant. Restaurant during up hours. During up hours. During up hours. There you go. Excellent. And the last one, which is what other areas would you like to improve? Handling credit card is difficult for me. Uh -huh. Great course, it's difficult for me. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. And that was basically what we had to do here, all right? So to move the information from the section at the top to the chart here at the bottom, right? So thank you, and thank you everybody for participating in the classes. Remember to access to the platform and complete all the assignments that you have to complete, all right? So Everything on the uh, unit three, it should be done, completed, all right? And you're supposed to be working in unit number four right now. Okay, so, well, if you uh, don't have any questions, questions, my friends? No questions? No questions. Okay, no. well, thank you very much for participating and thank you for joining the class. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, good night, good night. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.